here are some considerations that I look at when purchasing a property. I like to find properties that have unique features on them. Some properties I've bought have dinosaur bones. Remember, T. rex Sioux, a dinosaur that was found in the Hell's River Formation, was sold for $8 million. I like properties with Indian artifacts because Indian artifacts have a lot of value. A paleo point could be worth $10,000. If you don't believe me, go to eBay and check out Clovis points for sale. I also like properties that have buffalo jumps because in areas where there's buffalo jumps, those areas could have buffalo bones piled up 10, 20, 30 feet deep, which means that when somebody wants the right to dig there, I can charge an awful lot. I usually charge for a two foot by two foot square of ground for someone to dig bones and stones up out of the ground. I charge in the neighborhood of $125 per square. There are on an acre 11,400 more or less squares per acre. If you do the math, it could be very lucrative. Some of the other things I do is I allow excavations around TP rings. I get $1,000 per TP ring. I have ranches out west where there's over 1,200 TP rings on each ranch. Another thing you can do is you can rent out the rights to search for meteorites. In New Mexico, we have ranches where it's almost desert-like conditions, and those are nearly perfect places to find meteorites. Another thing we've rented out is daily rights for metal detecting for gold, and also we do some areas where we have had Civil War camps from the Civil War on our properties, and people like to use metal detectors there as well. And for those activities, you can charge a premium. When I own a property, one of the things I like to do in the first moments that I start to own that property is to apply for airport licenses from the FAA. You can do this and it's easily done. It's a one page application for helicopters and balloon ports. And when I file for those applications, I always make them public airports. In other words, anybody can take off and land. Very seldom does somebody take me up on it. However, the FAA gives you the airspace up to 5,000 feet and gives you an air, air delineation zone of two and a half nautical miles, which means your neighbors can't put in a toxic waste dump or wind towers without your release. Some of these things are just pretty easy to do. Some take a little bit of time, but if you work at it, you can accomplish your mission. And these things will also help you establish a better value for your property for future purposes. Here are some other quick suggestions for making money off of properties you already own. Allow people to dump manure there. We allow dumping of manure for a fee because we can use it in our growing of trees and shrubs. You also may be able to run out a few locations to store cars, trucks, equipment, or RVs. They make excellent rental income streams for your property. Putting in a couple portable sheds can also be very lucrative. At Christmas time, we lease out places for people to do photo shoots. That is lucrative. You can also rent ground for dog training, like people with beagles to train their dogs on rabbits. So you have to sort of think out of the box when you own a piece of property on how you can make it work for you. The way we actually started was we started growing nursery stock, and it turned out to be a very lucrative business. In fact, on a piece of a property that we planned, sometimes we get in excess of 1,000 trees per acre, and the turnover is just a couple of years before we start to sell them. And we can sell some of these trees that have only been in the ground a, a short period of time for $50 to $100. It makes a very lucrative income stream. If you have any questions about raising trees, I can help you do that. And you can come to Highland Hill Farm and we'd be glad to give you a tour on how we run our operations here. 
We have thousands of trees and shrubs that we grow, and we grow on hundreds, hundreds of acres of ground that we now own throughout the nation. So give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 if you need help in getting started.